Welcome fellow travelers. This is Alan Paul with a special presentation. This video is not about a specific multi-tool. So if that's what you're here to see, that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about a specific weapon on your multi-tool. Something that has gone unappreciated by travelers for quite a long time. About a year ago, we were all very fascinated by the fact that we could get 13, 14,000 damage out of a multi-tool. Then, several months later, an update came out and we were hitting 35, 40, 45, and even 50,000 damage. Then the Sentinel update came out. And with Sentinel multi-tools, we could now achieve 60,000 and even more damage. Well, as you saw by the title of this particular episode, we're hitting over 135,000 damage with the right weapon. So let's start by taking a look at the multi-tool. I know you're anxious to see what we're talking about here. Again, this is not talking about any specific multi-tool. I have this particular multi-tool that I found. I actually found it through the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange. I also uh, confirmed it by watching Hero to You, who also did a quick video about this particular tool. Why? Because obviously you can see here we got four supercharged slots next to each other. Now, in the past, the most destructive weapon, as we know, is the Scatter Blaster. So let's throw the Scatter Blaster in here, and we're just going to show you what kind of damage potential this does with, by the way, the most powerful upgrade I can find for it. At a plus 20% fire rate, plus 3% damage. We're hitting over 51,000, so even if I reposition this, I have to put it in the right place, and we can get 51,000 damage, 51,750, which is still phenomenal. Now, with other upgrades, with other particular weapons, even with the bolt caster, and as you know, I'm kind of favorable towards the bolt caster. I'm going to drop this in here with these upgrades. As you can see, these upgrades are at plus 2%, plus 20% fire rate, uh, and the uh, burst cooldown, of course, as well. It's a very damaging weapon, 31,000 already with this particular uh, grouping. But as we add more to it, you'll see that we can achieve much higher upgrades with it. See, we're hitting 36. A little over 36. 37. 38. That's the highest I can get out of this. 38,906. But considering how fast it is, as far as a weapon is concerned, and we'll show you. Watch the reload rate on this. Here we go. Reload. Okay? Don't blink. We're done. And you can keep going. Very fast. Scatter Blast is much slower, and it's only good for damage very close up. So that said, we're going to pull in our next multi-tool weapon, which is the Neutron Cannon. Now, as you might think, as you're seeing some of these other upgrades in here, you're thinking to yourself, okay, what kind of X-Class upgrade did he get? No. The X-Class upgrade is not powerful enough to get this weapon where you need it. And I want to watch, have you watch very closely how this goes. We're going to put the Neutron Cannon in first. As you know, the Neutron is charged with carbon. Okay? 13,000. Watch what happens. These are S-Class upgrades, and I'm going to add one in up here so you can see what the upgrade is. Now, this is not the most powerful S-Class upgrade. I'm having a little trouble getting that. But S-Class upgrades can achieve negative 50% charging speed, whereas the X-Class cannot get that high. You can also hit plus 13% damage as the highest on the S-Class. And an ion sphere speed of plus 12%, as you can see, I'm hitting plus 11 uh, so I can't seem to get my hands on the latest or the highest out of these upgrades. But let's see what happens. Watch the damage potential. Okay, nothing's changed, because obviously one of these is a little bit higher. Probably this guy. Watch what happens when we drop the second one in. Okay. The third one. We're hitting 97,000 damage. And we don't even have the last piece put in, which is the P-Field Compressor Package. 
136,215 damage, folks. 136,000 damage. When I did a video about 6-8 months ago, and I hit 42,000 damage, I thought that was a lot. This is three times more powerful than that. It is twice as powerful, and sometimes a little bit more, than any weapon I have seen to date. Ever. If you find a weapon has four upgrades right next to each other, use the Neutron Cannon. Use it with the S-Class upgrades if you can find the biggest ones, because look what it's doing to these charging speeds and the damage output. Absolutely phenomenal. So, we're on the Neutron Cannon now. Just to give you a rough idea, charging, it usually takes a couple moments to charge. Watch how fast it charges up. Done. It's already charged. And you just keep shooting. You notice the reload time. Oh, that's right. There isn't one because you have four, five hundred ammo with each shot. So how well does this do in a battle? Guess it's time to find out. We're at the Wily Fox battle platform, as you can see. And I am going to go grab a Gravitino ball and start a fight. Never mind. Hi there. Yeah, they are. Come on in, guys. Now, I'm not going to start a fight in order to get a lot of nanites. We're just going to go ahead and fight them. Yeah, they don't have no idea where they're going. There we go. Let's get their attention and bring them back over. Now, see, we hit that guy, but we also took out the guy next to him. So that's one of the benefits of having a neutron cannon. It has area of effect damage. But we can literally one-shot these guys without even thinking. You want to collect that? Collected. Done. And I got 485 ammunition shots to go. Let's just look in this direction and wait for the next round to come up. You want to see what kind of damage we can do? Watch this. Two down. He's gone. That's it. And we better take him out so we can get the next round going. Reinforcements arriving in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go meet them, shall we? Done. Hey, remember him? That guy right there? Watch this. One, two. And actually, if we were a little closer, we probably could have taken him out in one shot. We have one more guy to take out. Done. Who's next? We're kind of running out of people to fight here, aren't we? We'll look in this direction now. Yeah, we're going to have fun with him. Let's get a little closer to this guy, shall we? Gone. Still took two shots, but that's okay. Yeah, and I ran right at him. I don't care about the damage. Let these guys try to... Oh, he's stuck inside. Okay, we may have to take care of that in a minute. Whoop. Must have only grazed him. Yeah. I'm going to have to find some way to get him out of there. <laughs> so. Let's see if I can remove a section of the building here. There we go. Welcome to the fight, my friend. One, two, three, four, five. 
probably couldn't even probably didn't even take that many shots to kill him. Now I do wonder sometimes whether they nerf some of the shots a little bit in order to allow for the fact that you are too powerful. Who's next? Where'd he go? Hi there. Goodbye. Oh, look what we got there. So as you can see, they act like a scatter blaster in the sense. Ah, oh, there he is. Alright. We need to take out him. And him. All right. Let's see how many shots it'll take to take this sucker out. Very pay close attention, shall we? One. We just took out part of his head as well. Back in a hole. Great. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Oh, that one missed. Four. It's not hitting him for some reason. Hold on. Four. It's not hitting. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, eight shots, and we're done. Eight shots, ladies and gentlemen, to take out a walker. So, oh, in case you're wondering whether it's a pretty powerful weapon or not, well, now you know. Getting some graphical issues there, sorry about that. So that is as they say that. So this weapon is now the most powerful weapon. Now, I want to be very clear again. 136,000 damage is what we're getting out of our multi-tool right now. It is not the most powerful upgrades. With the most powerful upgrade, and keep in mind, this upgrade here, the only thing that's missing from it is that plus 12 ion spear sphere speed. Our friend Saluso has found the, the highest upgrade and is hitting 143,118 damage. 143,000 damage. That is the most powerful weapon in the game. Is it OP? Better believe it. And I cannot believe that there's anything else ever been so powerful in this game that could ever account for that kind of damage output. Will it get nerfed in the future? There's a possibility of it because I don't think it's possible. It's a good idea to have a weapon this powerful in the game. But for now, we're going to go ahead and enjoy this weapon. So find yourself a nice weapon that has four supercharged slots right next to each other like this and get yourselves a neutron cannon with the best S-class up upgrades that money can buy, or nanites in this case. I hope you watched. You like watching this video, ladies and gentlemen and our fellow travelers. And if there's any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Again, there are no mods that I've added here. There are no mods to this whatsoever. This is true, free and clear, 136,000 damage. Feel free to leave comments. I always respond to them. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. And of course, as always, please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.